keep the pace of this game slow. They understand that it's all about possessions, and they're trying to operate under no hurry at all. Beagle looking to throw right, fakes the throw, now dances up the middle across the 30. And that's all he'll get, maybe a gain of two as Christian Fournier again makes his presence known as the leading tackler. And it'll be punting time here. So a promising drive that had a first down on a third down conversion, but that big time penalty by the halfback, Ethan Gates, receivers to the right of the formation. Gray Knack for the tailback in front of the formation with one wide receiver to the left on second and two. After the eight yard gain, here's Zane Miners to the second level at the 40, to the 35, breaks free, to the 20, to the 15, 10, five. Zane Miners is into the end zone. Touchdown, Westlake. Gray Knack for, watch the replay. For the fellow running back, Gray Nackford gets the cut block on the outside that absolutely sprung Zane Miners. And the speed of Miners took over from there. What a play. As you might see it, the cut block you can see right there. Zane Miners on the ground with his defender on the ground as well. And Zane Miners takes it the rest of the way. 51 yards smoke from Zane Miners as we await the point after touchdown here. Mark Sayeg. Still doing the kicking honors there out of the snap of McWilliams and the hold of Salazar. 7.02 to play here in the first quarter. Two wide receivers each way. This is the base formation for Westlake's offense. Klubnik back to pass, looking to throw. Fires deep down the sideline. Has a man wide open, and it's Keaton Quebeca. Quebeca comes down with the football. He's into the end zone. Welcome to varsity football, Keaton Quebeca. He scores his first touchdown as a Westlake chaparral, and the Shaps are on the board. Touchdown, Westlake. Wow, what a throw. And John, I know you're going to gush over this back shoulder throw here for a moment. All back when they have this big a lead. It's for moments like this. You practice that two-minute drill. This is green light territory now for the, for the Chaparrales. Looking to run the ball. Now an end around here to Luke Nicholas. Looking to throw down field. He has a Miners. Miners makes the grab. And a third misdirection play here for the Chaparrales as they run kind of a... I would call this a money 20 play, kind of, as they stack it in. The reverse pass here from Nicholas to Miners. A lot of misdirection there, but it's good for a first down to the steel 41 yard line. Nice catch there on Luke Nicholas's first pass attempt of the year, and he completes it for 17 yards. So Beagle on first and 10, looking to throw. Fires cross the middle of the field. That pass caught, and they try to dump it off. That ball's a fumble, and it looks like Westlake has it. Wow, they try some trickery here, do the Steel Knights, and Westlake has come up with their first turnover of the ball game. I understand the effort there as Christian Fournier pounces on the football, but with 21 seconds and the ball on your side of the field, I don't understand with all the traffic and just how well Westlake has played, John, this move to try to toss the ball to the sideline to an open receiver does not make a whole lot of sense here. We'll get a look at the replay and find out. It's in Lopez. I see what he was trying to do, but that no-look pass intended for Michael Boynton winds up as a fumble, and Westlake will have a shot with 21 seconds and a timeout. Oh, man, that is unfortunate for Steele. From 26 yards out, Salazar with the snap. It's a good hold by Salazar from McWilliams, and it is up and good. So Westlake settles for a field goal. 7.23 remaining in the third quarter. A corner from a year ago showing why he is very much in play for an all-district selection this year as a senior. Looking to throw. Clubman. Pocket breaks down on third down and nine. Stops at the 20. Still looking for room. Fires to Gray Nackford. Picks up the first down at the five. Gray Nackford inside the four. Down to the two to the one yard line. And Westlake has picked up the first down. Devin Cortez is the only man in front of Nackford that could have stopped the touchdown. He did. And it's first and goal Westlake at the steel one yard line. As Westlake up 17 trying to make a 10 point swing here in the second half on back to back possessions. Two wide receivers to the right of the formation, one to the left. Klubnik looking to hand off here, and he's going to keep it himself for the one-yard touchdown run as Klubnik is into the end zone. There should be a flag coming in at the end of this play as he was upended. We've had some extracurricular activity at times at the end of plays, but Klubnik is into the end zone. Touchdown, Westlake. That is his 12th rushing touchdown of the season, and the Chaparrales are into the end zone. Touchdown, Westlake. Okay, Klubnik's fired up about that one as... He gets thrown down late after the play, but a big touchdown for Westlake, finally able to convert a drive. And yeah, that's gone. Clap of the hands, and Beagle is back to pass. Rolling right, looking to throw. Does on the run. That pass intercepted. 
should be a flag for a horse collar at the end of the play, but Westlake's going to take it as Christian Fournier steps in and picks off the ball. He has a fumble recovery and an interception in this ball game as Christian Fournier is able to pick off Wyatt Beagle. That's his eighth interception of the season, but for Christian Fournier, that is his first interception of the of the season as the senior hybrid linebacker safety is able to connect and pull down the interception here for Westlake, and it's a turnover. 321 left in the third quarter, and the Shaps are in business at the 36-yard line. Yeah, should have been a face mask right there on the receiver. Well, Bruce Miners to the right of Klubnik. Looking to play action. The catch made by Michael Tapp. Tapp at the 15, Tapp at the 10, Tapp at the 5. And he is close to the goal line, but he is down at the 2. Michael Tapp sneaking down in the coverage and coming up with a brilliant move. And Michael Tapp's going to come off the field briefly here. Might be banged up a little bit at the end of this play, but we'll have to see if he is okay. That's, of course, the starting corner. And how about the accuracy from Cade Klubnik? And it'll set up another first and goal as Oontz, along with Cortez, brings down Taft after the 26-yard strike. It's first and goal Westlake at the one in the Raising Canes red zone. Now handoff to Zane Miners. Miners somersaults into the end zone, and he is scored. Touchdown, Westlake. Oh, Westlake pouring it on right now as they've gotten three opportunities and converted all three to scores. A field goal and now a second touchdown, and Westlake is in business. Touchdown with 2.11 to play here in the third quarter. Yeah, big difference when you convert the drives into touchdowns. Westlake in this third quarter making a statement after the sloppy first half. Barnett missed the first one, and this will be in the area of an almost an extra point shy. This is a 21-yarder here. Good snap, good hold, and Sag puts it through the uprights. So with 9.08 to play here. Well, we got ourselves together, and uh, we protected the football. And, and we, I think, I think the difference in the ball game today was our defensive line uh, completely dominated, and I think our offensive line completely dominated. We won that this game uh, up front uh, with all the big guys that don't ever get uh, the kind of credit that they need. But we don't do anything without them, and so uh, really proud of our offensive line. Really proud of our defensive line. 